Okay, these are ride drills. These are a couple drills that we use as we talk about the zone game that are a little bit different, a little bit unique, that invariably show up in games. Uh, let's say you have a backside B block, okay? And you're working against a three technique that's tilted. He's obviously going to be in a position to jet your outside V. He's attacking the guard on the backside. So in that emphasis, fellas, what we want to be able to do is we want to take a brace step with the inside foot. That second step becomes the high leg. It becomes that power leg on the backside. That leg can't get collapsed. Paul talks about it years ago about the slooping of the backside foot if it comes lateral. You lose your power, you lose your base, you get flattened out. So in order to prevent that, this is the backside guard just working the technique, okay, of the brace and pop on an inside play, and he's trying to stay strong with the backside foot. He's trying to stay strong to hold off the three, to allow the backside tackle to catch up versus a linebacker that's playing behind him. So this is a little bit different. We're trying to hold off. We're trying to work this technique where this guard doesn't get collapsed on the backside. He's got a good base maintenance right there. And he's up into the second level. They take the three into the backer, and we create a little bit of a dent on the backside. So what we've done is, I don't use a lot of sleds. I like using just the crowder, but if you don't want to be hitting sleds and you want to get a lot of reps with your guys, we lock them up. We call it a ride drill, all right? And so what this is right here, fellas, this is a left shoulder ride drill. This is just a backside guard, could be a center, could be a tack, whoever you want to put in this lockup, what we do is we shoulder ride. We foot fire the feet, all right? We say, ready, boom, they fire their feet, go. And on that command, guys, they're firing the feet, they're working the backside half of that defender with a high leg, they're pumping the off arm, they're playing with their inside half, in their eyes, and they've got a visual right here on that backside backer. We're trying to look right through the inside V of the neck, guys, in terms of where that backer's located. Now, this is just a vertical movement here uh, by the backside guard. It could be a movement where you can create an angle effect if you put the backer in a stack or if you put the backer in a plus alignment. You can create all the angles that you want. We just want to get our people uh, feeling pressure on them. We want to give them that sense that Paul was talking about that kinesthetic sense of where that guy is at on my body as I'm blocking my inside gap with my eyes and I'm working my backside half with my body. A little bit different. So here's a guard, he's gonna foot fire, he's gonna pump that off arm like this and keep it freed up. All he's doing, he's lifting, he's using kind of a flipper here in that respect. He's working this defender up, he's trying to punch a hole and kind of pierce some type of a path through the inside shoulder of that three technique as he works into the second level. He's trying to take that defender into the second level with him as he's working to the backer. Sometimes, fellas, they'll have to come off a lot faster than what they're doing. Sometimes they'll be in a position where they can be a little bit later, like you saw on the game clip. But this is what we're trying to do with the ride drill here. All right, here's the next ride drill here again. Same thing, foot fire, pumping that off arm. The blocker's arms now, guys, when you put them in the fit, they're interlocked. And so the defender will press into the V of the neck, they're interlocked. So you do get the aspect of the feet and the angle. You really don't get the realistic version of the backside arm because it's, it's using the flipper, but it's locked up. So you really don't get the feel of really working off it like you'll see in the next film here, or the next clip here in a minute. But this is the idea, foot firing, the backer's a little bit tighter, okay? There's a little bit of adjustment here. We're trying to not to come off too fast. So if you're teaching timing on the backside combination, this is a way to do it. You can slow your blocker down. Give him the feel and the fit of working the high knee, the feel and the fit of working the backside half of the defender so that as you work into the second level, you're not in a hurry to escape that down lineman. Just something to think about, okay? This is the same drill, our fellas, okay? Now we're working it with a square drag. So what will happen here with, this, with this, this blocker here, this is the backside guard. He's got a three technique. And what he's doing on the six hole play, he's square dragging. He's square dragging. He's square dragging. Guys, there's no interlock. There's just body pressure here. What you're going to see with the guard is you're going to see him locked up. You'll see the guard locked up, and the defender's arms are dead. They're not interlocked. So you'll see a flipper right here on that backside three. The flipper's on the three, and as that guard's moving laterally now, when it's time for him to depart, he'll take the backside flipper, and he'll catapult off that three and shoot himself into the second level. 
So take a look at the inside arm, okay, of this guard as he's working. So he's working laterally, and again, he's firing the feet. He's square. He's square. If you can see, this arm right here, fellas, okay, it's locked up, okay, and it's, again, that defender's, his arm and shoulder is dangling. He's pressed so that we can practice the technique of catapulting off the three into the second level. So it's just the ability to launch yourself and get off the three when you've got to go. It could be the center on the nose, it could be the guard on the three, the tackle on a five, whatever that is on the backside, guys, that's a technique that we'll use and you'll see.